All right, gear check with Sage. Today I'm talking about my North Face product and specifically the Steep Series and Future Light collections from the North Face. Well, so I've been a North Face athlete for almost 20 years now and have been working closely with the design teams through all of that. We've worked on lots of amazing products, but the thing that I've been the most impressed, um, excited, and kind of proud to be a part of is Future Light. And um, Future Light is basically the North Face's endeavor into waterproofing and breathable technology. So in the past, we've had pretty limited uh, ways to waterproof fabric. Taking a piece of plastic and stretching that piece of plastic really, really thin and attaching it to fabric. And then that plastic membrane is waterproofness. And we've used that technology in a number of years uh, in our higher end product from North Face and many other companies have used that same technology. But companies for years have been trying to get as close to that technology as possible um, without breaking any patent laws. And so each company has made their own kind of version of this stretched plastic. Well, what North Face did was saw that this was something that really needed to be kind of rethought from the ground up. And really, what are we looking for with our gear? And what we're looking for is we want it to keep us dry. We want it to keep us warm. And those two things are sort of how do we stay warm, um, but also and dry? Well, we don't want to sweat from the inside and we don't want to get wet from the outside. And the problem basically with our outerwear is that it's really good at keeping the water out and it's good at keeping us warm, but it's not necessarily good at keeping us dry from the inside unless we take it off, especially when we're hiking. So as you warm up, if you're hiking especially, you generate a lot of heat, that heat has to go somewhere, and generate that thin plastic membrane stretched over cloth, you just really couldn't cut it as far as letting the heat escape. So what was needed was a more breathable fabric, but that was still waterproof. So North Face started looking into this. Long story short, they developed with some scientists this technology called Future Light. Now what Future Light does, instead of taking a membrane and stretching it really thin, this is taking a waterproof membrane and spraying it onto a fabric in these nanofibers. So tiny, tiny little pieces of this are sprayed on and it can be sprayed on either really thinly or really thickly, depending on the type of fabric and waterproofness level that you're looking for. So for something like ski or snowboard outerwear, you want a high level of waterproofness, we're gonna do the, you know, basically the biggest application of Future Light. Whereas if you're maybe in like a jacket that you're using for running or something that's just really lightweight, you have a really light version of a future light onto this fabric. So uh, it's tunable, it's adjustable, it's better for the planet. Um, which we North Face made an entire factory to produce future light and future light fabric. And all the fabric that it's on is now on recycled fabric. So we're really stepping up and North Face taking the, taking the charge to create not only a new technology that's better and performs better, but also is just better in, the, in its environmental footprint. So a lot of cool things about future light. And I want to talk a little bit about the clothes that I've been using that I've been wearing with it and uh, how I really utilize that. So one of the biggest things with having a jacket or pants that breathe better is really layering and layering for that day. So what I found is that my layering is a little more important than it used to be. It used to be just wear something warm underneath, you know, base layer, mid layer, exterior layer. And then when I hiked, I would take off my exterior layer. Well, now I'm leaving that exterior layer on while I hike, which is definitely kind of a new thing. So therefore that mid layer and base layer need to be a little better situated for that hiking and skiing. So often what I do is I have a single long sleeve base layer, a puffy, mid layer and then my exterior layer and the puffy mid layer is sort of my early in the morning going to the trailhead or wearing for the first run and then that goes in my pack that's kind of my extra layer for the day and I won't put it on again unless I stop for a long time and kind of get chilly or if the weather changes drastically but generally I'll just lay that off stay in my base layer long sleeve base layer and my outer layer and I can hike and ski all day as long as you keep moving, seems pretty good. So changing that mid layer, sometimes it being a little more robust or sometimes being less, is kind of key to the layering and, and keeping the breathability optimized with Future Light. 
The jacket and pant combo that I've been using this season, so new for 2020, fall of 2020, is they called the ACAD jacket and pants. This is really North Face's, this is out of their Steep Series. Steep Series is a series of clothing that's made, made for the charging snowboard and skier who is skiing at the resort, skiing in the backcountry, uh, kind of doing a little bit of everything and really is going to put their, their clothing and gear to the test and is going to use it for a lot of days each season. So the Steep Series is kind of the pinnacle stuff from North Face and the ACAD is really like the kind of more on the ski area side, the more bomber. So this stuff is built to last, built tough and I've been really impressed with, with it so far. So on the pant side of things, um, comes in a bib this season in 2020 and it's a really cool bib. It's really minimal, lightweight. Um, the suspender straps are uh, a pretty cool design where there's just one adjustment. So rather than having two things that you have to adjust, now there's just one strap, it zigzags in the back. And so as you pull it, it tightens both straps and you can adjust it just with one hand, one side. So that's pretty cool, quick adjustability of the, of the suspender. And it offers a bib height and the protection of what bibs give you without like a ton of material going up over your shoulders or, or up around your, the, the top of your core. Um, the fabric is kind of changes throughout the pants to have different layers of durability. So we really, really need it the most on the, your legs, where the pockets are. It's really beefed up. But up top, where, the, where the, your fabric is underneath another outer layer, it's really soft. And that's one of the other things about Future Light is that versus making the fabric really stiff and crinkly, you can apply the Future Light and keep the fabric really pliable, really soft. So. The fabric has a better feel, so it just feels more comfortable on your body, it moves better, it doesn't sound very loud, and it really has all these benefits as well as being more breathable and just as waterproof as what's been out there already. Uh, these pants also have huge zippers on the side of the legs with no mesh, so you can really let a lot of air out if you do kind of like, you know, as you overheat, you got some venting. You still do, I find I still do some venting, um, and it's nice to have some vents, even though the future light vents so well. But sometimes when the sun's on you, if you're not in the wind, if you're not really like getting much air out, it's nice to have some big vents to really just let some air out quick. Uh, big deep pockets on the hands and big cargo pockets on these. Uh, really robust cuffs, big, you got a couple adjustments on the cuffs and pretty standard there, uh, a really, really well-made bomber um, pant. Uh, additionally to the suspender straps, you also have a waist strap. So it's basically like a built-in belt that's super lightweight. Uh, I like this because one of the things with bibs sometimes is if, especially once you get stuff in your pockets, if you're wearing bibs, it can almost like weigh down and like all the weight of the fabric and anything in your pockets is kind of pulling on your shoulders and can kind of be uncomfortable over time. Having that nice cinched waist belt gives you really this the support at the waist as well. So the whole pant isn't just hanging off your shoulders. So that's really nice. So that is the ACAD pant. And then moving on to the ACAD jacket. Also for 2020, uh, it is available uh, in fall 19. So it's available right now as well. But um, ACAD jacket, similarly, uh, is places where the fabric is doesn't need to be as robust. It's a little bit thinner. Uh, you get a little bit softer. And then where you just have more durable, uh, you get more layers of the fabric. It's really nice and bomber. has a really good weight to it and heft. Like all the North Face jackets of uh, this level, um, my nose protector there, uh, you get a chamois built in in your pocket. Use this thing like almost every day. Love having just a little goggle cloth built in uh, as well in this, this arm pocket as well as that's one of the pockets that I put my pass in for the most part. Uh, don't use the the kind of big pockets too often. That's more of like a temporary storage place for me. Kind of what I'm utilizing the most is this little hand pocket or arm pocket rather. Uh, and then the chest pockets are something that I use a lot. Um, I will put my phone up here because my beacon is way down here and so that's kind of the furthest away from my beacon. Um, so I'll put the phone in there or if I'm backcountry skiing, I'll put uh, sunglasses and hat in there so that when I pull up, I can just unzip, pull all those on, take my helmet off and I'm hiking without having to take my jacket off. 
A lot of good features, has a little powder skirt in here, some big just internal mesh um, pockets on the inside just for storing gloves, and has two uh, pit zips as well, like I said, um, the ability to just quickly vent a bunch of air uh, when you get really overheated, when the sun pops out, uh, both on your legs and arms is nice, but generally I find I kind of use those and then zip them back up, like vent a bunch of air and then go back to kind of status quo. So. Uh, pretty good um, style on that. Really a lot of cool little design features. Um, the way the uh, cinches work on the hood, it's a real easy to find, something that you can just grab with your uh, mitten or your glove, cinch this down, and then inside built internally, you can find with just by feeling through the fabric is a release for that. Easy to find, something that you can do without taking your gloves off. Um, yeah, what I, what I like is this, like I said, this fabric being so soft and kind of, uh, especially where it's near your face, when you need to bundle in, you, you really have a kind of solid barrier, but also something that feels good and, and isn't abrasive to you. That's my, my kind of go-to backcountry filming resort kit from North Face.